we started on uh, we started on a Monday or Tuesday. It was actually a very rough first day, you know, getting back to you know doing something. But uh, it feels good, you know, be able to get back to you know practicing, be able to do something, just to get out of the house, you know, <laughs> get out of your building. It's the, it's been uh, it's been a good week so far. But uh, after two months of not doing anything, it, it definitely feels good to to be back out there doing something. You know, your, your, now your muscles is trying to adjust to, okay, doing something else. It's like going through preseason again in the middle of the season, you know, actually. But uh, definitely, you know, we, I can feel it on my body and I'm, I'm sure my teammates can, can say the same as well, you know. Like you said, being at home, you know, trying to do some exercises, you know, it's not the same thing as what we do on the basketball court, you know, in practice. So... Now it's gonna take a few days, you know, to a few weeks for our body to, you know, get, you know, adjusted to to practicing again. I felt like uh, first initially I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be that long. You know, I thought it would be maybe something about you know two weeks to three weeks, then we'll be able to get back in action. You know, but. Uh, it took longer than I thought. And for me, I felt like it would be safer for me to stay back in Belgrade, you know, not traveling through the airports, you know, having contact with people. And definitely, you know, in Belgrade here, yeah, you have people at the airport trying to take, you know, pictures with you, trying to, you know, talk to you. But at the other airports, you know, as well, when people feel like you're a basketball player, they try to talk to you, you know, have a conversation. So just trying to avoid those, you know, situations. Then, more so, like I said, thinking that, you know, it won't be that long, but actually it took longer than I thought. So those are the reasons why I stayed back in, uh, in Belgrade. I would not say they need basketball to survive, but you can see, you know, when people talk to you on social media, reach out to you, you know, are you holding up? Especially they knew I stayed back in Belgrade. You know, people will reach out, you know, are you old enough? And, you know, we're looking forward to hopefully, you know, finish the season and see what we can do, possibly do maybe, you know, possibly fight for the playoff spot or something like that, you know. So, and you know, now that things have come down a bit in Belgrade, you know, going to the store, you know, riding in the neighborhood, you know, people talking to your fans, like just trying to know what is going on, you know, trying to ask you details because to some to some extent, they basketball is part of their life. You know, going to the games, cheering for the team they love, it, it's part of their life. It's something that they enjoy. You know, it brings some type of satisfaction for them. You know, so yes, for people that have you know talked to around here in Belgrade, they definitely miss it, and I'm sure they're looking forward to you know hopefully the season coming back or you know the next season if possible. I was actually talking. I was talking to myself. I said, "Hey, Billy, this might be something you you should look into right after you finish basketball career because it seems like it comes to you naturally. You know, it's not just for athletes. You know, fans that are staying at home in quarantine can actually you know follow up with what Billy is doing. You know, they might be doing maybe less reps or you know less rotations, but they can actually understand." his message, you know, and follow up, you know, and follow his footsteps. So that, that's, that's just, that's amazing, you know, for him being able to do that. It comes to him naturally. Serena Vezda and to all the, you know, EuroLeague fans across the globe, I would just tell them to be safe. That is the number one priority in this pandemic situation. You know, the first thing is to be safe keep their family safe, you know, watch the news, follow up with the health officials, the health workers, you know, whatever rules and guidelines each and every country is laying down for people to, to help people stay safe. They, they need to follow up with that. With basketball, finishing this season or not, I'm sure that there will be more basketball season to come in the future. So. First thing is stay safe. Then when the basketball comes, I don't know if we start playing again. There might be, you know, there might be a rule where 
will not allow fans to be in the in the gym, you know, while we're playing, while we finish the season this year, if we do finish the season. But bear with us for this year, for this season, and hopefully, you know, your league will be back better and stronger next season.